right, class. Well, welcome to another week in our ELRN 750 Teaching and Learning with Digital Technology class. And this week we are talking about communicating with technologies. And so, of course, you're going to read Chapter 5 on that topic. And then there will be a presentation um, that you'll watch on communicating with technology. And then uh, we have a tech talk from Ashley on Class Dojo. Thanks, Ashley, for providing that. And Class Dojo, if you're not familiar with that, is a great technology, educational technology tool for classroom management. And also, sharing those behaviors is interesting. It can share behaviors with the teacher. I'm sorry, not with the teacher, with the parents of the students. And, um, and so it's an interesting idea that you can share about a student's behavior right in real time um, to the parent. And then there's an introduction to interactive whiteboard software. So what I want you to do with that is to take a look at the chapter, or the section of a chapter, I should say, from my textbook, Educational Technologies for Teachers, and to read about interactive whiteboard software. Um, it's a good opportunity for you to look at the videos about that software as well. And I'm guessing that most of you have an interactive whiteboard in your classroom if you're a t current teacher. But as we move forward, this is kind of looking forward a little bit to the next unit on uh, interactive, active learning with an interactive whiteboard. So, but one thing I wanted to be, you to be aware of is because of the way that um, the nature of software and things that change in society and technology so quickly is that uh, in the section on inter interactive whiteboard software, really the smart notebook software is correct. The Promethean um, Active Inspire software section is also correct, but Promethean has kind of moved forward, and they're using Classflow now. Classflow.com is the software that if you are just learning about interactive whiteboard software, that's the one you probably want to pick up if you have a Promethean type board. And then um, there's Open Core is one of the ones that's offered there, but that has actually changed too. And I forget the name of it. Let me Let me check it out. Um, yeah, Open Board is the name of the software. So Sancore has been changed. It's been it's now Open Board. So there actually is open source interactive whiteboard software out there that you can use for your classroom if you have an interactive whiteboard. You don't have to use Smart Notebook or um, Promethean's Classflow. But I will say that I like Classflow quite a bit because of the interactivity that it offers. And we'll go through that as we get started on interactive whiteboard activities over the next few weeks. Um, so you'll take a look at that, though, this week. And then communicate. And then the last thing, of course, is to complete and submit the authentic learning project. And um, don't submit it unless it's ready. I'll go ahead and grade it when it's submitted, when I get the chance. So. Um, but let me just make a few points about this assignment, a few tips about it. So again, you're taking an existing lesson plan and one that maybe you have taught or created and you feel is not yet very authentic and you're going to add a technology element to this plan and also a, uh, and something that makes the lesson more authentic. And remember, that means that learners must be involved in activity, activities similar to what professionals might do and they must see how what they learn is used outside of school. Um, so yeah, you'll submit the original unchanged lesson plan and then you'll add an updated lesson plan that now includes the technology element that makes the lesson more authentic. And so in your new lesson plan, of course an old lesson plan again might be just a simple paragraph of what you normally would do if that's all you had followed as a teacher prior to this. But for the updated lesson plan, I'm talking more the in-depth lesson plan that oftentimes is asked for in a college or university setting for those preparing to become teachers or who already are. So that means these things, a lesson title and summary. And again, for each one of these, give some detail, list of content standards and objectives, description of learners, uh, materials and technologies used by the teacher and students, list of learning activities that would be completed during the lesson with a detailed description of each. And again, that's the timeline, right? The timeline of activities. And that should be detailed about what would happen all throughout the lesson. And the description of the technology element that is added to the lesson and how this technology supports the authentic learning in the lesson. Now that's separate. 
that one tip that I would like to make is that that is separate from the actual lesson plan. This is sort of a paragraph or two that you take out of the lesson plan. You, you take a pause from the lesson plan and say, okay, here's how this lesson um, adds technology to make it authentic. And then you talk about that. And then finally, an assessment plan showing how you'd measure student learning. So the rubric down below is it shows how I will grade you on this. I will judge you on this assignment. Um, and then uh, that's how it will go. So be sure to submit that by the end of this week, the Authentic Learning with Technology Plan. And then as we move forward, just so you have a roadmap of where we're going, again, we have um, a week. Next week, we'll talk about active learning with technologies and classroom response systems. So we're really doing, uh, with that assignment that will come up, it's actually really about you know, active learning with technology with an interactive whiteboard or active learning with classroom response systems. And what's kind of interesting is those things, the interactive whiteboard and the, smart, and the uh, classroom response system, they're kind of becoming one um, in a lot of ways. So you can use ClassFlow, for instance, to do a lot of classroom response activities. So those are some things to be aware of, and that's just looking ahead a little bit. And there'll be an, an assignment where you'll take an existing lesson plan, similar to this one, and you'll submit um, a new one that adds the interactive whiteboard activities along with the interactive whiteboard activities that you submit, and then talk about how that supports, or classroom response, I should say, not just interactive whiteboard, but also could be classroom response, and then how you would use that in your classroom, how that adds an active learning component, makes the learning more active for students. Um, so I think that's it for this week, so good luck getting started.